All right, let's start the sew along for my second Nomi dress. It's pattern number ME2044, and we have two versions. View A has a bias cut skirt, and then view B has a paneled skirt with gathers. Um, it comes in sizes eight to 26, and the supplies you'll need are an invisible zipper and bra straps and sliders. Um, these. And then an invisible zipper, and let's go ahead and get started. Here are the instructions and a closer look at view A and B. Um, view A has a bias cut skirt and then view B has a three paneled skirt and the top is bias cut. The bottom two are gathered. And now here are the pattern pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out in my size and then we will cut out the fabric and we will start the sew along. Okay, let's go over all the pattern pieces. This is piece one, it's the upper bodice. It's for both views. And you're going to cut four of these. Piece two is the lower bodice. It's also for view A and B, and you're going to cut four. Pattern piece three is the bodice back. You're gonna cut one on the fold. Piece four is the bodice side back. You're gonna cut two. Um, all these bodice pieces are for view A and B. You're gonna cut all of them. Piece five is the front strap for both views and you're gonna cut two. Piece six is the loop for the strap. You're gonna cut two. Piece seven is the bodice back facing and you're gonna cut one on the fold. You're also gonna cut one inner facing on the fold. And piece eight is the tie. I still have to cut this out, but piece A is the tie. You're gonna cut it for both views and you're gonna cut one. Okay, piece nine is the skirt front and it's for A and B. For view B, you're going to cut it at this line. For view A, you're gonna use the whole thing and you're going to cut it on the bias. Make sure for all these pieces that you are marking all the notches. Pattern piece number 10 is the skirt back and you're gonna cut it for A and B. For view B, you're going to cut it at this cut line. Make sure to mark all the notches. Okay, and for view B, you have a few extra pieces, the gathered panels, so you'll cut those out. I'm gonna be making view A, so I just have the two skirt pieces and I'm gonna cut them on the bias. And here is a cut guide if you need help with that. And let's get started. Okay, I have all my pieces cut out and I am using this really pretty silk satin for mood fabrics. I need to iron these pieces, but um, this is my favorite silk. It's just so soft and pretty. Okay, so step one is for A and B. And we're gonna fuse the inner facing to the wrong side of each matching fabric section following manufacturer's instructions. Okay, so basically you're just gonna put the inner facing on piece seven and 11. These are the facings and I'll go ahead and do that and be right back. Okay, I've, uh, um, I've ironed on some inner facing to both these facing pieces. And now we're gonna move on to step two, which is we're going to reinforce piece one in this little corner right here. We're gonna just sew a sew like this, a little corner because we're going to snip this corner in and we don't want it to rip. So, so 
So after sewing piece one, we're gonna cut right here. And we're gonna snip it. So we just wanna sew a line of stitches right here to reinforce that corner. And I'll go do that and I'll be right back. Here is the graphic for that. You can see right there. Okay, now step three, we're gonna sew the straps. You're gonna fold it in half, right sides together, and stitch it at 1 fourth inch. And then we're gonna turn those straps right side out, and we'll base the edges closed. Okay, so we'll fold this right sides together sew it out one fourth inch and then we'll turn it all right i'm going to use a loop turner to turn my straps or you can use a safety pin or however you prefer i think loop turners are the easiest way but you can do whichever way you prefer And then I'll turn the other one and I'll press these. Now we're gonna take the straps and attach them to the upper front bodice. You're gonna attach it to the top where you have your markings. So I have two markings right there and I will attach it right there on both sides. Okay, now I'm gonna pin the front lining pieces over the top of the strap and the front. Okay, now we're going to stitch the front edge in a 1 fourth inch seam allowance right there on both sides. All right, I've stitched the front edge with a 1 fourth inch seam allowance. And now we are going to stitch the upper edge. So this edge with a 1 4th inch seam allowance also. And you're going to do it from, starting from the dot that you have by the front edge, from here all the way to the end. And you'll do that on both sides. So you'll start at the dot that you have marked, and then you'll go all the way to the edge. Okay, I've stitched the upper edge and here I'm going to I'm going to show you the pattern piece. So here's the marking you should have had on the top and you'll stitch it all the way over. Sorry, there and then stitch it all the way over 1 fourth inch and then the front 1 fourth inch. And now we're going to stitch the bottom in 1 fourth inch from this marking to this marking. Just right there. And you're gonna do it on both pieces. And I'll do that and be right back. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna turn it right sides out. And now we're going to understitch the facing. And we're gonna end. So we're gonna understitch it and understitching is stitching the seam allowance down so on this edge you're stitching the seam allowance down close to that seam line um, and on the lining side and it holds the lining in so it doesn't poke out and then you're going to understitch it until you get an inch from the edge so to there and you'll do that on both sides okay so I've understitched the lining and you can see I stitched the seam allowance down to the lining side close to the seam line, right there. And then I stopped at an inch before the edge, just like that. And then when you turn it, when you turn it around, it keeps the lining nice and snug under so it doesn't poke out, just like that. And then you'll press it also.
on these front pieces, you're also going to clip this corner where we reinforced it. You're going to clip it right there so that it'll turn better. So we'll just snip it to there. And then when it's turned, this part will lay nicer because you're going to sew this to the bottom bodice. And there you have your upper front bodice pieces. And now we will move on to the lower bodice pieces. You should have four of them, just like the top ones. And make sure you have all your markings. We're gonna do the same thing with these pieces that we did with the top, and we're gonna reinforce this corner right here on all the pieces and I'll be right back now we're going to sew the front edge right there one at a one fourth inch seam allowance on both sides after you sew the front edge right there at one fourth inch seam allowance you're going to sew the top and bottom edge from dot to dot so at one fourth inch seam allowance from mark to mark on both sides and on both pieces. All right, once you've sewed those two spots on each side from dot to dot, you'll turn it right side out. And now we'll press each piece. Okay, and now once you have pressed both these pieces, we're going to top stitch the front edge just like we did the top pieces at 3 8 inch on both sides. Okay, now we're going to attach the upper bodice to the lower bodice. And we're going to do that by we're going to leave the lining piece of each piece. Okay, so we're going to leave the facing or the lining side of each piece free. So you don't catch that when you sew it. So just this piece, the main fabrics of each piece of the upper and lower bodice together. And we'll stitch that but making sure that we don't catch the lining while we stitch it. So we'll just stitch it right there and we will do that with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, so now that you have stitched the upper bodice to the lower bodice right there and you've left the linings free. You're going to do the same thing on this side by putting them or matching right sides together, the lower and the upper bodice, and then we'll stitch the same way at 3 8 inch. And I'll be right back. All right, we've stitched the linings together and this is what it should look like. on the front and the inside. Okay, and now we will repeat that with the other side and I'll be right back. All right, I finished both sides of the front bodice and now I'm gonna go press it and then I will baste the side edge and the lower edge shut. And I'll be right back. Okay, now we're gonna sew the bodice back and we're gonna take this um, bodice back piece and the bodice side back and we're gonna sew them together. There and there. Okay, I've sewed the back bodice 
and don't forget to finish your seams. I just used a zigzag stitch because I don't have any pink serger thread and I thought it would be pretty with this silk to match. Um, so I just pressed them towards the sides rather than open since I finished them. So I have the back finished and Okay, now we're gonna sew piece six and it's the loop. We're gonna fold it right sides together and stitch it with a 1 4 inch seam allowance. Okay, I've sewed my loops and I'll turn them right sides out. And I'll do the other one and then I will press it. Okay, now that I have sewed the back bodice together, um, I'm going to add the strap adjusters and I'm going to use the clear ones and right now we just need the loop. So we will put it around the loop and then we're going to baste it right there. And we'll do the same thing for this one. We're going to put the circle part of the adjuster on the loop, fold it in half, and then we will put it where we have the markings at the top of the back bodice. So right there and then we will go ahead and baste these into place okay now that we've attached the loops with the bra rings um i'm going to quickly finish the bottom of this facing and then we will attach it to the top like that and sew it at one fourth inch. Okay, I've sewed the back facing onto the back bodice and now we're going to understitch the facing down. And to understitch, you're going to stitch the seam allowance on the facing side and you're going to stitch it as close to this seam line as you can. I'll go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I sewed the facing on and I understitched it. You can see I stitched close to the seam line and I stitched the seam allowance towards the facing and now I'm going to press the facing down and you can see we have our strap sliders and a, or our slap adjusters and so I'll press this down and be right back all right so we're working with the right side and we're going to flip the facing up on the back bodice and we're going to pin the front bodice to the back bodice. And now we're going to flip the facing over and just pin that over the front bodice. Okay, 
So now I've pinned the front bodice to the back bodice and flipped the facing over. And I will go stitch that at 5 8 inch along the edge. Okay, I finished that edge with my with a zigzag stitch and I'm going to flip the facing over and now we have the front and back attached. Okay, and now um now you're going to just hand stitch the facing to the seam allowance right here and right here so that it stays down. So you'll hand stitch there and there. Now we're going to add the strap sliders to the straps. This is the slider and So we're going to put it through one end and then back through the other end like that. And now, so on the back, we're going to take this and stick it through the through the loop, through the ring. And then this is, so now we have the this through the ring on the back loop and you're going to stick the strap back up through there and then back down. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the front skirt piece and we are going to reinforce this upper edge right where we have the marking. We have two marks here and here. We're gonna do a line of stitches to reinforce it because we're going to clip right at the, the markings. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew a line right there and be right back. All right, I've done a line of stitching right below the dots and now we are going to clip right above the dots. So we're going to clip to the dot, but not through these line of stitching. Okay, now I have the skirt back and we're gonna sew the darts and I'm just gonna mark those really quickly and then I'll go sew them and I'll be right back. When I like when I do darts, I don't like to backstitch. I like to tie the threads at the end in a knot and then trim it. It makes it so it doesn't pucker as much. So there's the darts pressed in, and then I'll trim the threads. Okay, after you're done with the darts, we're going to stitch the skirt back and skirt front together at the right side seam. So we'll stitch from the top all the way down to the bottom, and we'll leave the left side open. Okay, now I'm going to stitch the left side seam three inches below the notch down, so three inches below the notch down to the bottom. Okay, the next step is we're going to attach the bodice to the skirt. Okay, so we're going to pin the left bodice, the left front that's on its own, to the left front skirt and it's gonna match up perfectly where you cut this notch and the bottom of the bodice. So you'll just pin it. Okay, so once you've pinned the left front 
um, you're going to do the other side that's attached to the back bodice and you'll just pin it matching these the front where the where you cut those notches so you'll pin it and I'm gonna match up the side seams skirt and pin the back bodice to the back skirt okay and once we've pinned the front bodice and the back bodice onto the skirt, we're going to baste it in place. And I'll be right back. We're going to clip the facing just like we did the front of the skirt. So there should be notches on your facing and you're going to clip down to that. You're also going to reinforce on the facing just like you did the front of the skirt. Okay, so I've clipped the facing and now we're going to lay the facing on top of the bodice and the skirt. The bodice will be sandwiched in between the skirt and the facing. So this is in, in the middle. Okay, once we've attached the facing to the front and the bodice is sandwiched in between the facing and the skirt, we're gonna go sew this at 5 8 inch. Okay, I've sewed the facing on. I'm also going to finish this bottom edge. I forgot to do it before. Um, I'll finish that and then I'm gonna understitch the facing and I'll stitch the seam allowance on the facing side. And then once you understitch it, you'll turn it in and you have the front of your dress. And I just have some threads to snip, but then all we have left to do is attach the slider to this side. And then also we're going to sew the invisible zipper, but I will understitch this and press it and be right back. Okay, now that we have pressed the facing in and we have the straps attached we're going to attach the invisible zipper I'm going to use an invisible zipper and I will do that and be right back okay I have put the invisible zipper in and if you guys do not have an invisible zipper foot this is why you should get one this is the first try look at that perfect okay and now all we have to do is we have to tie the strap or sew the strap so for the strap what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it um like bias tape you'll Press it in half and you'll fold the ends inward so it's finished on the end once you sew it. So fold it in half and then you're gonna fold the ends in towards the center and then you'll fold it shut and you'll sew it. So it's kind of like bias tape, but you're just gonna sew it closed. So I will go do that and I'll be right back. Once you have your ties done, you're going to thread them through the front bodice casings on each of the bodice pieces, and you'll go down one side, and then, and then you'll go through the bottom and to the other side. And then you'll repeat that on the other side, and you can scrunch it up and tie it in a bow. And then the last thing we have to do is sew the hem of the dress and I'm gonna actually wait to do that until tomorrow because I want it to hang for 24 hours since it's bias cut, and that is it. 
I hope you guys like this dress just as much as I do. I cannot wait to see all your versions. Please tag me on Instagram and let me know if you guys have any questions about sewing it in the comments.